Hey everybody, this is FL Studio How To, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you yet another way to sidechain um, anything in FL Studio. Um, I could say this uh, method works uh, the best out of all of them. It takes a little bit longer, but um, it gets a uh, more professional quality to it, and you're able to uh, customize the sidechain to however uh, much or how like deep you want it to be. Um, so to start off here, I have my just quick saw thing I made. It's pretty crappy, but we'll go with it. So this is what it sounds like without the side chain. Uh, yeah. So that's that. Um, what we're gonna do now is uh, the first thing is to uh, drag whatever pattern you have your saw in or whatever um, you're gonna click on this and figure out okay it's to five so then I gotta bring this up right here to six no I gotta bring it down to eight alright so now we are uh, general pattern matches the length of our saw or our pattern for the saw um, and then what we're gonna do is right click the kick or whatever sample you want um, and hit every four steps and uh, you can use any single sample for this. Um, I'm just going to be using a kick for this purpose. Um, then you can rename it silent. Um, and then click on the silent one. Down arrow, assign free mix or track. And once you do that, you're going to add a fru er, Fruity Peak controller. And you're going to leave the settings on this the uh, exact same. Um, right down here now, there's a little mute tab. Um, now if you hear me play this pattern, uh, you're not going to hear the kick. And I mean you can set it to unmute. Um, but I'm going to keep it on mute for this purpose. Just to show that you can sidechain anything without having a kick. Um, then I'm going to go into my saw, uh, click on that, and... I'm going to move the plug in, go into the channel settings, uh, drop down, and assign free mixer track. Um, then you're going to hit this drop down in the first uh, section here, and you're going to find a fruity compressor, which is right here. All right. And then uh, what you're going to do then is find your uh, threshold, right click, and uh, link to controller. And once you've done that, uh, move your internal controller to uh, the peak control um, for the silent sample that you have. And uh, drop down arrow and click inverted here. And then you can uh, go ahead and hit accept. And now if you hit your space bar, you can notice that this um, it moves up and down um, for every, every beat. Um, and then you can go ahead and move your ratio up to about 25. Uh, three quarters of the way. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, once you've done that, um, go back into your silent in here and double click on the Fruity Peak controller. And you're going to want to pull this all the way up, this little knob here. Um, and this is uh, the amount of sidechain that'll be in your saw. So if you play it now, So you can hear there's an extreme amount of side chain, which that's how much you can customize it. I'm going to bring it down to about here. So uh, yeah, the, this is basically how you'll get your side chain and I'll play the before and after really quick. Um, this is without. And this is with. And of course you can unmute this so the kick will uh, trigger the side chain. So here's what that sounds like. So uh, yeah, the, that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more and thank you for watching.